i te mānga i ngā nira poro me te toko toru tapu. Kia tatu mai ono koutou ki wanganu i tēnei whakamoe me te o mātou. Hei tātari i ngā kupu kato e whakapua ki nā na mātou i roto i tō koutou kororiatanga. Ko koutou nei te timatanga me te whakootinga o mātou. E tumana ko atu nei i roto i tō koutou kororiatanga. Ko te mānga e i tau toko mai. Aia nei, ake nei, ai. Kia ora, I'm Pearl Henry from Mana o Te Tangata. Um, my role here in Mana o Te Tangata is I do the activities, I run programs I um, and peer support. I just have a massive love for people and compassion for wellness. So I've got the side that is gentle but I've also got the side that is hard and I will do it either way. So um, I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. I um, started my journey many years ago and um, went into rehab because I knew I had a problem, but I thought it was people, not me. Big difference is that once I got in here to mana, I started to identify with my culture, which is Māori. Māori culture, music, all the things that I loved, but I thought we were not allowed to. So um, just working in a kaupapa Māori organisation, Mano Te Tangata, has brought me back to, has, uh, I have a pakapapa, and I have a um, mokapuna that I want to be able to be who they are, be comfortable in their own skin, and just do the best that they can with whatever they've got. So that's how I think they're going to get wellness. One, they are to be respected and heard. Their voice is to be heard. Um, and we are to journey with them on the things that they've shared with us. But always remembering and maintaining that this is their journey and that um, they will tell us how they're going to do their wellness, how they're going to pucker papa and look after their whanau. There is a place that they belong. We all belong somewhere, and it doesn't matter where your life went to or where you sat out there, it is all part of you. So embrace the whole lot, whether you're an ex-gang member, whether you're an addict, a pee addict, a drug addict, an alcoholic, embrace all of that because that is all part of your journey that is going to make you stronger for your wellness and others around you. Muri ora kia tātou, ko te kau Rolleston tōku ingoa, uh, toru te kau oku pakeke. Uh, huri tēnei mai ngā tau papa ki tūana ki ngā rekereke o mau au. Chair, I'm te kahu, 30 years old, I'm from Tauranga. Bro, there's been heaps of struggles, heaps of, um, heaps of hard things throughout life, thinking all the way back, but I guess to keep it relevant, thinking of the most recent thing, is as an adult, as an adult, um, I finally got contacted from my biological father. And that was a pretty buzzy thing and uh, my family had pre prepared me for most things in life. Most things that I'd have to deal with but I was never prepared for that. And so when that came there was a whole lot of different emotions and whakaaro and kariaro to that came with it. And um, it's still going on at the moment so still trying to figure out how to quite work through that thing. <laughs> I was raised on a place called Matakana Island in Tauranga and it's a pretty cool place there, farming island. Uh, everyone there has a garden, everyone there sets the net, fishes, rides horses. It's pretty amazing and it's a small place that's real close to the main city of Tauranga so it's only a boat ride away but it's a whole different world and um, being, being somebody that's from there I've had to live life like that. Like a half come from this whole different universe and then a half have to walk through this modern world that we live in and so that's been a crazy journey for me. Raised in Te Ao Māori, ki runga i tēnei moutere, and then going to university, working in big cities with all these corporations and stuff. Yeah, growing up, 
understanding this thing called tikanga and what it does has always been helpful because it gives me a sense of understanding on how to approach something like instead of just going walking into a new building that I've never been in I'll check out the new building try and figure out where we are situated which mountains I can see around and I'll try and identify things like that so when I go there I'm not just entering a place as a building I'm entering it's gonna sound heebie-jeebie but I'm entering this land that people have entered before and people will carry on to enter and yeah that's that's my whakaru about that but understanding tikanga has always allowed me to approach things and understand that there's a process when you approach things it taught me that in formal settings you got to be formal and in not formal settings you can be a joker true <laughs> the impact that music has had on my life goes all the way back to being little hearing like ori ori songs in that at kohanga and they're just little songs to help you flow but my mum always taught me that the purpose of the ori ori was to send vibrations through your body and even though she was talking about that thing called the ori ori, when I listen to music, I, I feel vibrations going through my body, frequencies I guess, and that's me feeling music, not just with my ears, but with my puku and with my naku and with my wairua, and so music's always, for me, music's always been something that nurtures and tends to those parts of me as a person. Um, thinking back of music that's impacted me, um, my mum used to quiz me about Bob Marley. She used to sit down and she'll play the redemption song and then she'll ask me, what does that mean? What does mental slavery mean? What does it mean to emancipate yourself? What is this metaphor? What is he trying to say here? And as well as having the healing and the ngako and the wairua that the music brought, it also showed me that there was a big intellectual side to music and that there's all these different understandings and uses of metaphor and uses of language that you will never find anywhere else apart from in music. I know Neko Hatsu got to fuck a fitzy up to with their waha poo what they are one new. Karua, Faya, Ponga Tapu, Wai, Tapu, Wanga, Tikuna, Tirunga, Bonga, Nui, Temanga, Moria, Ete, Atu, Wana, Nanga, Patu, Paya, Neke, O Te Poi, Faka, Wehe, Kotama, Nui, Te Ra, Te Dai, Hoku, Wai, Temanga, Takoa, Ra, E Neke. My first message for people that are going through tough times would be to try and reach out. I know it sounds crazy and it sounds impossible, but to reach out to anybody who you think will be able to help, even if they can't help, to someone who you trust, that will let people who can help know. Um, that's what I've always experienced. When I'm going through something hard, I might not reach out for help, like reach to the people who can actually help me, but I'll reach to someone who's close to me. And because I know that they love me and they care for me and they trust me, when I reach out for them, I trust that they're gonna let someone else know that's able to help me. So I might let my best friend know and that person might contact my mum. And then once mum rings, you know, it's, you better bloody do something about it. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I'd, that's the kōrero I'd give to anyone who's going through it. I'd reach out to somebody you trust, even if it's not the person who can fix what's going on. My name is Luan Martia. I'm 26 years old and I was born in Christchurch. Moved to, I moved to Melbourne and experienced some um, uh, struggles there with um, mental health issues and uh, drug abuse issues. Um, so through that, it's all brought me back to New Zealand and that's why I've yeah, decided to pursue something good. <laughs> yeah. I think um, every struggle has become a triumph um, when we are able to get through them. So I think the biggest turning point was when I lost my uncle Maui, who was the best guitarist in the world. <laughs> yeah, absolutely the best guitarist in the world. And um, it really just, uh, he really inspired me because he taught us that music is so much more powerful than the fame or the fortune, and it's um, a gift. So that was the hardest time in my life, was experiencing um, death of some sort. but through that uh, made me recognise that we are still here alive and we still have time to do something while we're here. So that, yeah, that was the biggest struggle that turned into triumph was, you know, in death there is still life. You said that I'm a dreamer Well, those beetles over there told me that It's all said and done, we've been deceived by our own limitations.
best friend music I think um, it was just it's always been being able to express how I'm feeling inside without um, you know having to use my heart too much um, it was able to speak for me in ways and just uh, I don't know yeah music it's a gift that's the best way I can explain it that's how it's helped me it's, it's a gift <laughs> It's a beautiful present. <laughs> Kia ora, I'm Trish Forrest. I'm from Hamster North. I'm 66 years of age. Kia ora, my name is Clay Lange. I'm 42 and I'm from Hamster North. Kia ora, my name is Leilani. I am 22 years old and I was born and raised in Hamster North. Um, I was brought up in a mental health family and remember it from the age of five with my mother. Throughout that time, um, I suffered um, mental health um, from a very young age, um, self-harm, um, substance abuse. I grew up um, an only child, really. My dad was in jail and my mum was always working. I it was quite mischief when I was younger, just to find something to do and where that led me was to getting a stronger relationship with Jesus and realising that the things that I've been through, only He can pull me through them, so that's what inspires my music, is Him. Uh, I've always had a love for poetry and a love for music and um, I love to sing and so having the opportunity to be able to write my own lyrics and contribute that um, to music has been um, so healing for me. White Māori is my wairo, my mana and my araha. I sing it all the time when I'm down, when I'm up, when I try to help when I'm at the arbor, when I'm, it's just like a spoken language. Um, being here and being able to sing has helped um, heal me. It's been a true medicine to my well-being. Keep looking for that person that's going to listen and hear your story. Don't give up. Um, find out what you love to do and pursue it. Whether it be music, whether it be gardening, whether it be drawing, whether it be on a computer. You know, find find your passion and and and, and pursue it because when you do something that you love, it's honestly very um, good for your well-being, but don't even give up, you know, and keep looking because there will be someone that will listen and hear your story and 
just remember that there's someone out there that loves you and cares for you. I'm called no Nati We've always been very musical as a family, however, during my darkest times it was music and it was karakia that helped get me through. Um, especially at those times where you um, ended up in, in you were at the lowest of your low, um, and you end up a lot of times, I ended up in seclusion. Um, coming through and it was the karakia that could be in touch with my family and who I was and helped instill hope. A lot of the, especially this way, this way, that's karakia here, and it talks about um, the Heidi Grau or, or Dani, and it was from learning about my, my the Atua, but the Atua, the Māori Atua, the Ao Māori learning about the Māori world that I found myself and I was able to become, I got better um, through what I've been through. And it was something that I'd, I didn't know that I would just, um, I didn't know what it was like to be Māori until I started doing, learning these things and now I feel complete. Um, and knowing now that I walk with my ancestors and Ke ka kaita e kuri au e ngaro e ka kato i tu i mai i te i ate ki ka kaita a a ko na wa wa ki ka. Um, my name is Teje, I'm, I'm 14 and I was born in Pami. I live with my dad because um, my mum didn't really, wasn't really there. Um, so yeah, just grew up with my dad and my sister and then, yeah. Music helps, oh, has helped me like, I don't know, chill a bit more, like it, it's relaxing and like doing it with everyone is like, it's just fun. It's fun to do it, yeah. When you when I write, I can like write stuff about my life or like how I feel and stuff, and then turn it into music. And yeah, that's helped because I get like I can change it into music instead of yeah, I don't know. <laughs> One of the best moments I've had in music is making an album with all the other kids that uh, some of them I met just last year, and some I've been friends with for a while. And, yeah. Like, listen to our album and know that we made it, like, just us, you yeah. know. Kia ora my name is Waka. I'm from the east side of Fairfield in Hamilton. Um, I'm 36 years old and I'm a music producer and artist um, and also a youth peer support climber. Uh, yeah, I was raised um, in a pretty rough environment. I uh, experienced a lot of domestic abuse. Uh, physical abuse from my stepfather. Um, we had gang environments around us um, and kind of experienced a lot of poverty early on. And you know, some of my other family members veered off into those directions themselves. Um, and I was very fortunate to have the ability to create music and have a passion for music. Um, and that really helped me come out of or well, overcome those things. I kind of rejected my culture at the start because I was defiant and I didn't see the relevance of it and why it was important. Um, 
but through this journey that I've been on from music, it's helped me to come full circle and to understand that whakapapa, tikanga Māori, kaupapa Māori um, is absolutely relevant in my everyday life. So, music has been a type of therapy for me. When I was young, a lot of my music then came from a place that was not well, was not okay. Um, I, I didn't really, I wasn't very stable at the time. I didn't have any directional purpose. And I would vent these things through music and they became milestones or little landmarks in my life. So when I was able to go back and listen to the songs that I'd made, I remembered where I was at that time and it helped me map out where I started to where I am now. Um, so music has helped me vent. It's been a, a type of therapy for me. Um, and now it's helping me to help others, to use my gifts to bring out other people's gifts and help them map out life in the same way that it's done for me. Live your life how you want to live it every day But live your life, my brother, don't let it waste away Cause tomorrow ain't promised and it can be a loss And surviving the struggles the homage to the past I feel adrenaline jamming until the early morn I feel electric even when the power isn't on I feel the fire inspire me to keep shining bright I'm a catalyst nuclear like the sunlight I'm living, are you living within it? Are you showing children how to make a conscious decision? Well listen, if you grin and um, it's, it started off as my foundation to everything, but it actually really helped me unearth the true foundation of my life, which is my, my whānau, my identity, my whakapapa, my culture, um, and pretty much does that for me every single day. just want to acknowledge my mum, my family, my, my daughter, my, my partner, my kids. Um, thank you for getting me to this point. I appreciate you all. I hope that this project finds someone that needs it and uses it. Um, I hope my music, my, the messages of my music find those people too. And that um, in some way, shape or form, I can help someone to continue living their best life. Got it. Desiree would do all the singing, but I used to just stand on the sides and sing along with them. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have five seconds up? Four, <laughs> so, um, I'm learning music production. Hi, I'm Mark.